Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. Welcome to the News at Noon, now streaming live on CBS News Philadelphia. Blavitt's entertainment career started in his teens and led him to relationships with some of the top names in music. He died at the age of 82. Fishtown, an electronic sign on the Fillmore music venue, reads simply, Our Man Jerry Blavitt, with the years of his birth and death. Siafa Lewis takes a look back on Blavitt's remarkable rockin' life. I am the heater with the heater, heater being all the record. To many music lovers in the Delaware Valley, he's known simply as the Geeter with the heater or the boss with the hot sauce. But however you refer to him, Jerry Blavitt is a Philadelphia icon, a legend through and through. Born Gerald Joseph Blavitt on July 3rd, 1940 to a Jewish father and Italian mother in South Philadelphia, Blavitt found his life's love and local fame at the ripe old age of 13. That's when he first snuck onto the popular TV show Bandstand, better known as American Bandstand, as a dancer. In quick succession, Blavitt began hosting live dances in Philly and South Jersey. He helped pick the show's music. A few years later, he managed a musical acts tour, met comedian and actor Don Rickles, he'd become his valet, and by 1960, he had his own radio show. Within three years, his show was syndicated throughout the Delaware Valley, from Camden to Atlantic City, Pottstown to Allentown. And it was there, on the radio, that he was able to make others happy. He's quoted as saying, I play music from the heart, not a research chart. To name but a few, Blavitt introduced the likes of the Four Seasons, Stevie Wonder, Dionne Warwick, and the Isley Brothers to a wider audience. Already well known locally, he gained national recognition as well. Sammy Davis Jr. became a lifelong friend. Frank Sinatra, too. Blavitt appeared on TV and in film. He owned record labels, bought a nightclub at the shore called Memories in Margate, which just celebrated its 50th anniversary. He was, in so many ways, larger than life. He survived by four daughters and legions of fans who will always remember him as the Geeter. Siafa Lewis, CBS News, Philadelphia. Well, friends are remembering Jerry Blavitt's energy and his passion. Our Howard Monroe joins us from Center City with more. Hey, Howard. Here, good afternoon to you, Jim. Yes, Blavitt, he was inducted into the Philadelphia Music Walk of Fame back in 1993, and that is what this section of Broad Street is known as outside of the Kimmel Center. And so was his friend Larry Maggot. We spoke to Maggot earlier on this morning at his home. He says Blavitt took him by the hand as he was entering the music business back in the 1960s. Maggot was a concert promoter here in the city. He says the two of them, up until very recently, would go out for coffee and lunch. He says Blavitt could speak to anyone about anything at any time and that people were drawn to him. Here's Maggot speaking about his friend. Yeah, I he could have run for mayor <laughs> and probably been a good one, but you know, we'll never see this, this kind again. It, this is such a tremendous loss, not, not just personally. And um, uh, in the last week has been really agonizing. And coming up later, you're going to hear more of our conversation. You're also going to hear our conversation with, with radio DJ Bob Pantano. That's coming up later here on CBS Philadelphia. But for now, live in Center City, Howard Monroe, CBS Philadelphia. Thank you, Howard. And stay with CBS News Philadelphia for continuing coverage of the passing of Jerry Blavitt. We have more on his legendary career on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com, and streaming on CBS News Philadelphia.